I'm offering you life, real life. I'm offering you life, not a fairy tale, escaping the problems, forgetting our reality. I'm offering you life, a meaningful purpose, a reason to wake up in the morning and a bigger picture to be part of. Because there must be more to life than this. God has said, whoever finds me finds life. But then again, how do we find God? We've all been searching for God in something, in our careers or relationships, or for many of us, in our religions. But God never created a world for religion. I'm offering you life, something desirable and true, with love and belonging, knowing this isn't just the end. In the Bible, a man speaks to a valley of dry bones and says this. This is what God says to these bones. I will make breath enter them and they will come to life. I will attach tendons to them. Flesh will come upon them and you will be covered with skin. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. I'm offering you life. Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. You see, because of the wrong things we've done in life, the times we've missed the mark, turned away from God, looked to our own desires instead of His plan for our lives, we deserve punishment. The Bible says that the penalty for our wrongdoings is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life in Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. Jesus, the Word, says this. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come so that you may have life, and have it to the very full. Many people didn't like what he said, how he claimed to be the Son of God the one who would take away the sins of the world, the one who would set things right. So, just as it was foretold, they nailed him to a cross. Whilst this was going on, one of the two guys hanging there next to him said this, Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Now Jesus didn't respond by saying, you must have done all these things, you must have lived a good life to be with me. Instead, he said, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. But that's only the start of the story. Jesus taught a message of life. And sure enough, three days later, after he died on that cross, he resurrected and showed us what new life is really like. He went to heaven and then his Holy Spirit came and gave new life to his followers. Like far, it came and gave them new abilities the power to heal the sick and raise the dead. But it didn't even finish there. The church exploded into life after that. And even now, 2,000 years later, it's growing faster and faster by the day, in number and power and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Jesus' love isn't for the rich or for those who have got everything together. No is for everyone, no matter your past or your background. There's nothing we could do to earn a place with him. Instead, he's got it all planned out, that he adopts us like sons and daughters of our Father God. Jesus' kingdom really is spreading over the entire earth, bringing new life to all who believe his message. God is in the business of bringing dead things to life. After we accept this new life, we have an amazing journey of love and faith ahead of us that we need to share with others. Before Jesus went to heaven, he commissioned each of us to go out into all the nations and tell others about this incredible good news and to do as he did, filled with the Holy Spirit, looking after those in need and being a help to the hopeless and bringing life to others. I'm placing before you the choice now. Life and death blessing and curse. Choose life so that you may live. Choose him and he'll come running to us. 
undignified and ready to embrace us, to start this journey, this friendship, this life, together with him. I'm offering you life, real life. What do you choose?